when I was 19, um, I started going out with my brother to ooh, gay bars. Um, places like, um, well, at the time, good lord, I think they're all gone now. Um, Studio One and God, Greg's Blue Dot and a bunch of things in the Valley, Queen Mary, that may still be there. Some other things. Anyway, um, 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 it was, it was pretty awkward and wretched and uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> we used to dance and, um, I was, I mean, first off, um, wow, I've just always been a merciless snob about culture. Um, and even then I was, possibly even worse. And so the idea of listening to um, that bizarre, awful, mindless, shallow, electro-techno, feel-good, twinky beat that um, gay guys listen to was more than I could stomach. Um, but then there were the conversations, or or what passed for conversations, they were also pretty grotesque. Um, yeah, pop culture and I have always not been friends, and um, I hope never to be a friend of it. Um, so, We would go to these places, and I thought, you know, this is just, wow, if this is what being gay is, I mean, I knew when I was a teenager that I liked men and boys. Um, I told my parents when I was 12, and um, actually I told them, you know, mom and dad, <laughs> at the very least. I'm bisexual and probably homosexual. And um, this was after some news report. Good Lord, like Time Magazine must have done an article about, about homosexuals in America. Anyway, and they were pretty calm about it. Um, my dad's only comment was, well, you know, Chad, you can't be both. You really have to choose. The other way is just not practical you end up lying to um, everyone you're involved with. And so I took that in and thought at the time, oh, wow, that's interesting, Dad, and um, possibly revealing. But there that was. So then when I got out into what my brother assured me was the gay world and what everybody in it assured me was this is wrong, gay, um, I started to doubt that maybe I was. I thought, ouch, ooh. So maybe my desire for a hidden, secret, and clandestine approach to sex is the right one. And um, I can find my other cultural input in some other world. Um, lucky for me, or not lucky, because I never actually scored at any of the hangout bars I went to. When I went out by myself, I tended to be on the outskirts. Um, I was desperately interested and fearfully afraid of people. So I would win tickets. I was really good on the radio and the phone. I, I won tickets to absolutely everything. Um, so I'd go, and I'd go in, and then I'd go sit in the parking lot, and I could hear just enough of the music to figure out what was going on, and I could watch the people coming and going, and I could watch the crowd hanging out in front, talking and, you know, acting, because in the scene I was hanging out in, everybody was an actor. Um, punks with, you know, early large mohawks, and people with doing like cutting rituals in the parking lot and um, having really elaborate 
beer fights and stuff like that. It was fun to watch, and um, I think I became kind of a fixture, although I was a fixture sort of in the way that um, wallpaper is a fixture or something. Wow, neat olives, huh? I did find concurrently to all of my explorations of the punk scene and the new wave scene that there was a significant amount of gayness there, and in fact some really effective supporters of that whole culture were queers, both men and women, who felt like that alternative, if you will, use a totally overused word now, lifestyle was kind of what what fit them and that's what they should support rather than something that is easily sold, which would be and easily marketed. Um, this was way before Abercrombie and Fitch or anything like that, but these queers who hosted parties like the theoretical parties and supported places like Cafe de Grand and the cavern and things like that, um, I think they could see what was coming and they knew all this sexy pretty boy stuff is super fucking alluring and um, that way lies destruction of not only individuals but ultimately an entire culture um, and so that's where my little heart pleased um, I mean, as much as anything, I decided or moved towards being kind of a permanent iconoclastic standard bearer for believing and demanding honesty, integrity, and the absolute most from, from people, from culture, from myself, and from what, from the world around me. Um, He said modestly, walking down Las Palmas <laughs> at 10 in the morning. Um, yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> Ego, thy name is a man with a camera. Okay. Wow. Yes, Las Palmas. Wow, not long after I stopped hanging out with my brother. Not that I really ever stopped, but started doing things on my own. My brother and a friend drove past me, cruising along. They were driving and I was sort of like, um, 